What a slow crawl to the inevitable future. Am I right? It's fucking. What if you? Yeah. But when you think about like how much has changed in yeah. what twenty years? Twenty years. Like back in the day, like the only Big way. Old computer in a room. Yeah, the only way to be a content creator online was to be a programmer. You know, there was no upload button. There was no drag and drop. It was complicated, soul crushing code, paragraphs, pages to do the simplest thing. This guy was explaining like the first era of the internet was basically largely just people making a bunch of shit and linking it together, you know? And then the second portion was making programs, linking that to the fucking web pages and just building like infrastructure so that content creators could be everyday people and not computer engineers and now this portion is we're trying to figure out how to well we already kind of did how to transact on the internet without someone holding our hand around along the way internet of value i love it i Hold your big Love boys it. for a long time, not financial advice, but that's what I'm going to do. Hold the big boys for a long time, eh? Hold the big boys for a long time. Long Ada, not financial advice. Long uh, Ada, looks- long Cardano making better software for my computer, please. Yeah. It is kind of funny because I couldn't give you a white paper on Cardano off top, but boy, they have me in their loyalty program. You have, you have, uh, <laughs> Cardano, Cardano VIP rewards. I, I got my Cardano credit card. Fucking the. We did have a very cool conference that was metaverse based. The crypto market's waking up again. Um, I, like I said, it might go to twenty uh, k in about eleven years, eleven months time. Says someone else that I trust. So, literally any day, you could just wake up and just go. <laughs> Go, but then bam it, and everything else will go bam and cardano will be like now nah, i'm gonna chill here <laughs> cardano goes down like 10 cents like yeah, yeah what that's sure. literally not what you're supposed yeah. to do dude we gotta we have to make up a new cryptonomic i thought we were all in this together cardano <laughs> uh yeah you know volatile things dude it's crazy how the young people have been have now baked into especially people that really gotten it, <laughs> into into money working in 2020 slash 2021 they're uh they're used to volatility now my volatility tolerance is nasty it's disgusting that's why anyone else anyone over 55 if they saw what my portfolio did they would throw themselves off the golden gate bridge it's pretty interesting it's quite interesting and then like dangerous it's it it, i think it's dangerous because Will you make money so fast? That, yes. Like anything, any other way of making money, like the normal way of making money, even if it's fast, even if it takes a year, I'm just like, oh, this is so people, fucking long. People have lost the edge of, of patience. And patience is a, a giant edge in a traditional market. And, mm. and, but the thing is, and it was really interesting to hear people talking about it. What happened with, especially with crypto, but people said they saw it in traditional markets as well, is that, the time frame of of things happening has been condensed like 2020 it was a, basically a freaking v and you have a giant slop down and it didn't take two years or three years to recover it recovered in freaking half a year which yeah. is uncalled for yeah you know? so that so if someone gets in, in traditional markets first as a 25 year old and you're like oh dude this is this just goes up and down like crazy and, and that's not what happens you get you get Three hundred thousand percent over thirty years, but not over three months. You know, um, yes, it'll take you years to double your money in stock. And then, <laughs> and then s- someone gets that, and then especially, especially because you didn't, you don't have to be a genius to win a trade. A- anybody can win a trade, you know. And when and everybody was winning all the trades in twenty twenty to now, well, to the, when Bitcoin was peak last. Um, and then it made people think like, yo, I can do anything, dude. I could I'm a I'm a freaking genius. And if you bought fucking I bought I bought an Ethereum a week ago. I'm already at fifty percent. Yeah. A week ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, all right, cool. But then so people also don't realize that like 
you have to bake in the volatility into, <laughs> into everything in, in crypto I meaning but i mean even in traditional things you got what are the highs and the lows of everything and the highs and the lows are freaking 60 and 10 in a span of a couple months the good news is if you can tolerate a year which is not long at all yeah you're probably most likely yeah. up from the previous year with crypto and that, i mean that is the condensed version of traditional markets as well if you hold something for a few decades you're going to be up no matter what it's, it's how it's rigged it's how it's will be rigged until the society falls uh or at least a slow decline shout out china I want to say that fucking eight hundred. I'm looking at these some of these things. Eight hundred and fifty four percent, fucking four thousand percent, two hundred and ninety four percent. On what? On some of the. I'm just looking at the biggest gainers on Coin Market Cap. Well, you're too late. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not getting into this. Are you kidding me? Uh, I, that would be a death sentence. <laughs> we hop in at four thousand percent. Now yeah. me a year ago <laughs> would have been like now's the time. Highs and lows, man. Highs now, and lows. Not even a year ago was the Dogecoin GameStop fiasco. More than a year ago it was? Not even a year ago. It seems like it was yesterday. Really? I feel like it was a long time ago. See, that's what I'm saying, man. People have a, a very skewed, condensed time with this stuff. And it's funny because it's I don't know. January wasn't that far. I mean, I was looking at a, a project that I read, wrote down. It was in November of 2020. And I'm like, oh, man. Didn't execute hard enough. I gotta get off the freaking TikTok. Go read As a Man Thinketh. My God, dude. Are you on TikTok I, doing bullshit? Bullshit. I mean, uh, I, half of it is is sourcing videos. Not even half a fraction of it is sourcing videos to post other places but it's it's no it's, it, it it ate my brain a day out of, out of my week damn just delete it for a day or so i still I, but i, I want to source videos i need to grab someone else's worst video fucking or just re-download it every friday that algorithm is i just like find a bunch and then just not use it for a week yeah I'm deleting it right now, dude. But then I'm just in a cycle of fucking. They got us. Disgusting. They got our. I'm saying I'm st I still say that it's half a psyop from China, dude. It's what? A, a psyop. I can't define off top, but like a a government attack thing. Uh, psyop definition. Maybe. Or just a you know a very addictive product that people make but then they regulate in their own country because they don't want their kids to be dumb and have no attention apparently facebook did a study on whether instagram makes teen girls suicidal yeah that was the big that was a big thing in 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 uh the trial they were talking about yeah and for those that don't know the conclusion was yes mark zuckerberg said no social media is good for society and the whistleblower was like if teen suicide is good for society, then this guy has a screw loose. Mm. They Facebook did a study where their conclusion was yes, it does. Yeah. Well, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, and Sheryl Sandberg, both of you are complicit in the death of my teen daughter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. JK. She's still alive. TikTok has more of that or less of that? <laughs> uh, There's a mix. But I don't know. I don't know. You know, dude, I feel like I, I, there was this girl. I saw her story and she was like, ask me anything. Ask me questions. And someone was like, OnlyFans? Question mark. And she was like, I'm sick of you guys asking me about OnlyFans. Once I'm done with this contract or partnership with some lingerie company or whatever in november i'm never posting bikini pics again i'm tired of being sexualized i'm thinking like damn dude this girl is fucking locked into a contract where she has to post almost naked every week or else she'll get sued like that's a that's an aspect of the app i never even thought about like some girls literally have to just like post pictures every week for, for a little bit of money they got paid a year ago almost a year ago and then just have men just like comment and on the other side of that 
on the consumer side, probably most females that is their feed that yeah. they're, they're that they're addicted to. Yeah. So I get that. I I also have to realize that <laughs> I don't think my Instagram is most people's Instagrams. I kind of yeah. that. I I also the the uh, addiction is definitely and and positive reaction has swayed for me towards TikTok away from Instagram pretty significantly. Like I I I, I go from TikTok and then I go to Instagram. And it was like going, it's like going from YouTube to Daily Motion. I'm still on Instagram. I don't like how like there's, there's not in school, there's... but like you can't choose what you see. Yes, uh, yeah, I agree with that. But I also believe that there's a lot more entertainment on TikTok than there is on Instagram. Instagram now seems less exciting for me. Yeah, that's kind of like how I'm able to like not be on TikTok for very long. After like watching three or four things I don't care about, I'm just like, wait, what is this? Like, like you know, twenty hours a week. Twenty hours a week. What else could you do in twenty hours a week? Literally, two to three books. You could build a fucking oh bitching God. business twenty hours a week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Heard. Understood. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Needed someone. I needed someone just nice, and explicit. Yeah, it was bad this week, dude. 